Great day for Haley Italia here at the Gateway Classic at Longbow Golf Club. You sort of stole the show right before the sun goes down. Uh, seven under today, uh, quite the day. Tell me about it. Yeah, um, it was pretty steady all day. Um, we got off to a pretty good start. I don't really, I haven't even looked at my scorecard. I'm not even sure what holes I birdied. Um, but it was just steady all day, and we kind of, I guess being the last group, you're not really, I'm always first, so I'm always having to set the pace. So today I was the last group, so we just kind of coasted in, and yeah, finishing on that last hole, we were all gunning for that, so it was good. Tell me about the final. I know probably five holes or so you had at least, you know, probably three birdies in the final four or five holes. Tell me about that final stretch for you. Okay, let me, th um, so I guess, yeah, I had a chip in. Um, I, I went through the fairway on that hole. I'm not sure what hole it is, maybe five. A great drive, so I was like, man, a great drive get through the fairway, so I'm in the desert. Kind of chunked it out, and then we chipped it in from about, I don't know, 15, 10 yards off the green. So that kind of like, we just lost the tee box, and we had had the tee box the whole day, and I was like, we got to get the tee box back. And so he was like, okay, before the end of the day, and it happened in one hole with a chip in. Um, and then the next hole I birdied, had a great putt. Um, we had a great read there. And then I had another chance on the par three. I was about 15 feet and kind of hit a pitch mark. And then that last hole, I guess eight, no, eight, but my 17th hole, 12 feet, and it hit the putt I wanted. It just it straightened up at the end, and then great two-putt birdie on the last hole. So definitely had some adrenaline going. We, we went down a club on this last hole, and it went to the back of the green, so it was wild. <laughs> Does it feel pretty good to, to see your name at the top of the leaderboard right now? I know there's still a lot of golf left, but, you know, first event of, of the season here. Does it feel pretty good? It does. Um, I was talking to people yesterday, and I, you know, one of my coaches, and I was like, you know, I feel confident. We had a great offseason playing. I was healthy this offseason, so that was really key for us to kind of develop routines, and it's great. It's always fun to kick it off this way. So, Tell me about last year. You only played in five Symmetra Tour events. You played in a few LPGA events towards the end, um, you know, had the injury. Tell me about sort of getting back and getting healthy. Yeah, um, so I played the first few Symmetra events and then my first LPGA event of the year out in Hawaii. You know, everything kind of fell apart there and that's when I ended up tearing that hamstring. And then I spent, I did rehab with the top tier, which is partnered with the LPGA. And I was in the hands of, you know, Curtis and Chris and Steve. And so they got me going and I probably wasn't ready for golf when we started golf, but we just thought the better me, quicker than me start playing, um, the quicker we could get, you know, stronger and, you know, more powerful. So then I came back and played, I guess, those last three LPGA events. So it kind of gave us a good um, plan for the off season. How about the weekend? Tell me about uh, what has to happen in order to stay where you are. You know, the goal for today and the whole week is just to be present. And I did a really good job at that today. I had to reset a few times, even especially on that last three-footer I had in the dark. I was, you know, taking the deep breaths, and it was a little bit shaky. Um, so just really stay present and just not get ahead of myself. All right, get some rest. you got an early tea time tomorrow. Yeah, but it's better than finishing one more hole in the dark, in the, at, what, 7.30? So, yeah, I can handle 9 o'clock. All right, great job. Thank you.